This video is about restarting programs on a FANUC control. Um, the program restart on FANUC generally is non-existent. You do get, occasionally, I come across a machine that does have it, but it's pretty rare. Um, there is an article on my website on that. Uh, if you go to cnctrainingcenter.com, you'll find this article. It's uh, telling you about FANUC program restart if you've got it and how to use it. It is quite complex, um, but if you've got it, I suggest you learn to use it because it's always any functionality that the machine's got, you know, if you've seen any of my videos or read any of my stuff, you'll know that I'm a big advocate of using everything that's there. So uh, the way that we write a program is quite important for this because each tool needs to be completely self-contained so in other words that tool is just like a separate program so all the information that it needs and all the modal information that may have been changed it needs to state for example if i just go down this program now you'll see that um, it's got the uh, it's got the g54 the work offset it's going into g90 it's going into rapid starting the spindle at a set rpm so that's like the information that it needs for that tool now there are going to be other things and it's going to rather depend on what you're using if you're using things like polar coordinates then you'll need to keep cancelling it just in case that's left around when you run your next tool so try to make each tool self-contained you might not get it right you might jump to something and suddenly find but learn your lesson and then add that command in that's needed so that tool wants to run on its own it wants everything it needs um, and as you get more into this you'll get more confident with it but don't go stupid and put things like inches and millimeters because if you don't switch between inches and millimeters then why do you ever need to to keep telling it it's in millimeters or whatever it's in you don't need to if it never changes same with things like plane selection if you're always in the g17 plane selection you don't need to keep writing that in but if you start switching it you might need to do that so bear that in mind when you're doing it so looking at the program there i always make my tool numbers correspond to this first end number here and you'll see why i've got that in a minute um and that's um I reserve those end numbers. In other words, if I've got 100 tools, I'd reserve one to 100 purely for my tool numbers and never use them for anything else. That way, I'm not going to get confused because you'll see in a minute the way that I'll search for these tools is not probably the way that you do it. You probably go into edit, search for what you want and then go back into memory or auto and run the program. Now, that's all well and good for an experienced operator because you know what you're looking for but if you're not you might go to the wrong place and try and restart it in some weird place which could cause a collision so um, what I recommend that you do is um, rather than searching for what you want in the edit mode I suggest that you do it in the auto mode or the memory mode whatever you want to call it so if you look up there it says mem it's in the memory mode and I'm going to hit rewind here reset will do the same thing but I'm going to hit rewind because I like that button there um, and um, in memory you can search but you can only search for end numbers so this makes it good doesn't it because if you think about it what I've just said I've only got these tool numbers to correspond with end numbers so I know that the chances of me picking the wrong end number uh, in other words, like jump into a weird place, are not very high because they correspond to tool numbers. So I can jump to that tool knowing that N1 is tool 1 or N5 is tool 5. This is in guide I. And in guide I, I can type in a number like that, number 3, and then press N search. And it'll find it. Now that stayed in the buffer, so I'm going to have to cancel that if I want to do another search but where n search is really useful is it search for all the ends so what I'm actually doing really is flicking through the different tools so I can see what tools I've got which is really useful because ah you I can say yeah I want the tap or whatever and then when it's finished it just starts at the top again and carries on so that's quite useful I can be specific or I can be non-specific 
So I'm on the FANUC side now, and I have to type in my N number, N3, and I use this uh, search N number, well, search number, search, and that will find it. So if I go N4, um, I can do that, and it searches for N4. So this is on the other side of the control, the FANUC side. If I go into the check screen, I've got everything I need to know on here. And um, when I come to run this program now, um, when I actually hit the cycle start, um, it will give me a warning that I'm in the middle of a program. And if I just press cycle start again, it'll continue. It's just a little warning um, that stops me from uh, completely messing all this up. So, um, so that's how we run a program restart. We make sure that all the information that we've got is there so it's complete and we can run this and we don't have to worry about um we don't have to worry too much about um no the information not being there